everyone and welcome to Lillian's Vegan World. So excited to be back in 2020 with a new, um, whole new studio here in downtown Honolulu. Thank you so much to Think Tech Hawaii for allowing us to do these shows and uh, really looking forward to talking more about the vegan lifestyle and plant-based diet. I'm your host, Lillian Kumik of Lillian's Vegan World. And here we go, my first show for the year. And I'm so proud to introduce you to Carlos Garcia, my guest today, who is actually uh, living in Maui, but today coming live to us from Thailand. Carlos, welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for Aloha. coming on. Aloha. Pleasure to have you on, Carlos. It's my pleasure. <laughs> There's, um, I'm going to introduce you, but you have quite a few titles. And an extra one that I only found out about a few minutes ago that I can't wait to talk about and share with the viewers. So first of all, you are Maui a musician and publisher of Living Aloha magazine, which was founded in 2014. You're the, and you also are an activist, philosopher. Is that correct? Yes, among <laughs> other things. Among other things, yeah. I'm going to um, let you introduce yourself, if you don't mind, and uh, tell us about what you do. Uh, well, I'm Carlos Garcia, and uh, what do I do? Man, we need a lot more than half an hour for that. <laughs> I but I, know. Uh, I uh, you know, I, I live this life of uh, just being around beautiful things, and uh, uh, most of my time this past year has been on Maui, but I spent a lot of time away for various reasons, uh, whether it's playing music to go see family. And right now I'm in Thailand because I'm exploring uh, this place I heard about uh, called Koh Panyan in uh, kind of toward the southern part of Thailand. Mm -hmm. That is an incredibly beautiful place. And it's like vegan central. You can take a walk wow. like the equivalent of three blocks in most cities and there's like 20 vegan restaurants. There's 25 Thai restaurants that all have vegan options. Mm -hmm. I mean, and the place has uh, ecstatic dance, live music, uh, sound baths, uh, all these things going on that is just incredible. And I just experienced the uh, One Tribe Festival, which is a 100% vegan festival in a 100% yoga retreat center. Wow, and it was awesome. an incredible experience. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we can talk more about that later. But generally, uh, I spend most of my time, uh, you know, and this wasn't, I, I never chose this life, but it seems like my whole life is based around uh, helping animals and helping our environment. And I do it through, through my activism. I do it through music because uh, my music pretty much support, you know, is supporting all animal things. And uh, I've got a video that I'm working on for a song I recorded that's all for, you know, it's called It's Okay to Love Me. And that applies to whether you're an animal, whether you're uh, an African-American or a woman or a gay person, it's okay to love. And that's mm -hmm. what the idea of that is about. And I've done my magazine because I really felt that Hawaii did not have anything vegan and the only <coughs> magazines out there uh, that I've seen, uh, you know, they have advertising for fish because it's healthy. Right. Like, oh God. And then there's a holistic publication on Maui that I'm not going to say the name, but there's okay. only one anyway, mm -hmm. but they, uh, basically, uh, you know, the first time I met them, they had an anniversary party and they were serving chicken and beef at their event. Oh, okay. And I'm thinking, kind of, kind this of is holistic. to what we're trying to do, but... <laughs> This is this is holistic, uh, spiritual. Uh, I don't know. There's yeah. this uh, this terrible attitude that people think that if they have a billion crystals in their house, that eating animals is okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it's a big contradiction there. Mm -hmm. You're not yeah. spiritual because you got a million crystals. Oh, I absolutely agree, Carlos. There was actually something um, I'm going to quote from your Aloha magazine from the website that I found. If you don't mind, it's something that you wrote that is really. Beautiful, I thought. And if you don't mind, I'd like to share it with the viewers. I don't know what it was, but okay. sure. I, I'm, well, you, if it was is, in the magazine, I, I This is where you're going to have to trust me. <laughs> I trust you. All right. So, Carlos, you write, there are beautiful things about the Hawaiian concept of aloha. 
taking care of the land and taking care of yourself and your loved ones. The one thing missing to make it truly aloha is veganism. Uh, there's a sentence in there I, w I won't read, but then you go on to say, if you really want to practice true aloha, add the compassion of veganism and share it with the world. That's pretty much very my well life right said. there. Yes, absolutely. Very well said. And um, as with you, this is also a passion of mine that I am sharing um, anything to help promote this awesome lifestyle. Uh, I'm in for it. And you are doing a really amazing thing. So thank you for your work. I, I'm sure you're going on to do more things. What's in the future for you? Got any projects coming up that we should know about or that you'd like to tell the viewers? Well, um, the magazine is kind of on hold right now mm -hmm. because I there was a lot of stuff, a lot of things going on last year and I just couldn't do everything. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I was working, I was with a, with a partner who we were creating a veganic farm and I spent two years really doing that, working really hard for many hours for a couple of years. And, uh, but unfortunately that relationship didn't work out. Okay. So, uh, you know, so that ended and I lost the farm and I lost the home, all that stuff's going on. And then I went to go, uh, uh, live at Leilani Farm Sanctuary, they, you know, the owners of the property said, hey, you can stay here while you find a place. Well, I volunteered there and within four days, I fell off a wall and broke my femur. Oh, no. And, uh, and wound up being in bed for those two months instead of looking for a new place to live. Oh, no. So uh, I was not in a great spot in life and I just had mm. to let go of pretty much everything. Right. You know, I couldn't do my farming. I couldn't do my music. I couldn't uh, uh, do magazine stuff. It, it, was, it was like I went from running four different businesses to literally nothing. It's just sitting there in pain, walking with a walker oh, no. around I'm, the house. I'm so sorry to hear that, Carlos, but do you think it might have been a message from some unknown <laughs> power telling you to slow down? Uh, you know, there's many <laughs> messages know. that come from me. Yes, yeah. yeah. Carlos, let's, while we're um, chatting about a lot of things that, again, I feel like I'm going to have to get you on because we're not going to fit everything in in this um, short 30 minutes. But I do want to take a look at one of your first slides that you've prepared for us. Okay. Tell us about this ah. uh, picture, Carlos. Uh, that was at Leilani Farm Sanctuary. Mm -hmm when I was literally on crutches and in serious pain, but somehow I'm able to get up and down a little bit with some help. Mm -hmm. And I just, uh, actually that was part of a photo shoot that I did for PETA that, you know, they wanted some good photos. And I thought, you know, some of the ones that I had, they just weren't that good. So I had a photo shoot uh, with this and many other photos with a great photographer uh, from Maui. And, uh, but this pig is just the most, one of the most beautiful creatures ever. Oh, uh, I agree. We've hung out they, before. They are, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So uh, I was just doing some photos around the farm and because mm -hmm. uh, I had the guy for the day. So okay. besides the ones, the quote unquote glamour shots for PETA, uh -huh. I said, I'm going to do some animal shots and I want, you know, some stuff like that. So mm -hmm. we, well, I hobbled around the farm. And there are many more pictures with other uh -huh. animals, but that's the one that uh, a lot of people like. So I just picked that one to okay. promote. We are, and, right. And we are going to talk about Peter for sure, because you kind of surprised me with this very, very crucial information <laughs> um, about what you did with Peter, which we will talk about. Um, let's look at the next slide, Carlos, before we go into that. Gorgeous. This must have been taken from Maui. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, that one was from Maui. Okay. Uh, and I, I, I put that photo out there because for me, um, well, we'll get into my, my vegan journey, how I, that happened in a minute, I guess. But uh, for me, a place of deep thought is the ocean at sunset. And that experience and the information that I was going through uh, uh, at that time, uh, and, you know, I was trying to process in my head. A sunset is always just such a great place to analyze stuff. Couldn't agree it, it, more. It is a, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great thing. And um, so that's why I put that photo up there, because when uh, I'm looking to set up some events and retreats and things like that, and sunsets are a big part of it, because there's, you know, these, these retreats are going to be about 
uh, speaking to non-vegans and vegans too, I guess, but it's really my whole, you know, I'm not targeting vegans with my activism. I'm, you know, vegans already know this information. And uh, when I relaunched the magazine, I want to kind of pose it as a mainstream health magazine with a vegan message. Awesome. That's the way I want to do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, trying to get, uh, you know, the, the big uh, uh, vegan food manufacturers to get behind us and sponsor, advertise, whatever it is that, you know, however it, we're going to work it. Mm -hmm. And uh, to help me do this publication and get it into more places. And, uh, but, you know, and one of the things I want to promote in the magazine and through my website and through speaking at different veg fests and uh, vegetarian society meetings is to <clears throat> is to come out to either Maui, to Kona on the Big Island, in Oahu, Bali, or uh, here in Koh Phangan in Thailand to get people to experience the vegan life, uh, be around vegan people who are really inspirational, uh, experience the food here in Koh Phangan at least where you have you know so many vegan options within like the size of a football field. I mean, it's nuts. It's crazy. I'll be and, there uh, if it happens. <laughs> yeah. And you know, just have people experience that, experience the sunsets, do a, a vegan cooking class, uh, go to a waterfall, uh, eat at a vegan restaurant every night that we're not cooking our own food. I mean, the food here is so incredible and it's so ridiculously cheap. It's like, <laughs> you know, for what you would pay 15 or $20 for, on Maui, you can get here for like seven or eight dollars. Yes, the and food in Thailand like, is incredible. You're right, but you know, and uh, and they know how to. I mean, most of the vegan places are not Thai, let's say, but because of the laws, most of the employees have to be Thai here. So uh, actually, all of the employees okay. have to be, you know, Thai. Okay. You can't work here. You can own the business, but you can't work. You can't be an outsider. Okay, just come and get a job. Mm. Yeah. So that, that makes it a little bit more tricky for people who are not from Thailand who want to do something like that. But I'm sure you'll find a way to get there and make things happen, as most people do. <laughs> Carlos, yeah. let's look at one more uh, shot before we go to the break. I think we do have time okay. for one more. Uh, these vegan activists, amazing. I'll let you introduce them. Okay. Um, the left one is Will Tuttle. He is one of the most eloquent speakers in this most gentle way, uh, speaks about veganism that I just love this guy. I, I do so much, anything I can for him because he inspires me. I'll, if all I can do is pick him up at the airport and take him to where he's staying, I'll do it or take him to the airport after or hang out with him for dinner. But I wound up with this photo. He stayed at our house for a week and I set up five oh, events wow. all over Maui. I'm so jealous so, you, yeah. you know this person. He's one of my inspirations as well. And yeah, next time he's on the island, I definitely would love to come and see him, um, see him talk. Yeah. And on the, on the yeah, right of the, the other on the right gentleman is Dr. on the right. Clapper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dr. Uh, Clapper. And he is uh, more medical oriented, even though Will Tuttle's a doctor also. But, you know, uh, Dr. Clapper is really, you know, into the facts and the figures of... Right. Uh, all the medical things and all that. So yes. he's been a big inspiration. I mean, I have a lot of them. Absolutely. I've got more photos than, you know, uh, you guys would have time to explain <laughs> to show anyway, but no, these I've... kind of people, uh, mm -hmm. I want to do like these events and maybe bring one of these people to the event to kind of help lure other people in there. Sure. To, to hang mm -hmm. out with those kind of people is huge. It does so much for me. And uh, like I said, I'll do anything for those guys. Absolutely. They're you know? incredible. And they're just spreading the word and the message and, uh, truly inspirational. You can see a lot of their, their talks on YouTube or you can find them. Um, I'll put them in the links to this show actually. Um, so you can get more information. Yeah, well, after, Sorry, Carlos, we are going to take a, we will take a quick, quick break. So hold that thought. <laughs> okay. We'll take a quick break and come back for more of Lillian's Vegan World with Carlos Garcia. See you after the break. Aloha. I'm Keisha King, host of At The Crossroads, where we have conversations that are real and relevant. We have spoken with community leaders from right here locally in Hawaii and all around the world. Won't you join us on thinktechhawaii.com or on YouTube on the ThinkTech Hawaii channel? Our conversations are real, 
relevant, and lots of fun. I'll see you at the crossroads. Aloha. Aloha. I'm Winston Welch, host of Out and About. It's a show that we have every other Monday on Think Tech Live here. We explore a variety of topics that are really interesting. We explore organizations, events, and the people who fuel them in our city, state, country, and world. We've got some amazing guests on here, like all the shows at Think Tech. So if you want to catch up on stuff, tune into my show every other Monday and other shows here on Think Tech Live. It's a great place to learn about stuff, to be informed. And uh, if you have some ideas, come on my show. Let's talk about it. See you later and aloha. Aloha everyone and welcome back to Lillian's Vegan World, the show where we talk about the vegan lifestyle and plant-based diet. I'm very happy and excited to have my guest uh, Carlos Garcia here with me today talking about his journey and what he's getting up to. Carlos, there is so much to talk to when it comes to you. I'm, you know, I'm really excited, but I have realized that I didn't ask how you started your vegan journey. So do share, do share it with us. Well, the abbreviated version was, okay. uh, my main business is distributing free magazines uh, based in Los Angeles. And I was back there uh, dropping off some magazines and I found this flyer that said, uh, healthy food and music festival. Oh, I can, everybody's into healthy food. So I contacted them to find out more. And then I noticed that they needed volunteers. So uh, I said, you know, I can volunteer doing stage and music related stuff like that, sound systems, uh, instruments. And they said, sure, come on down and help us. And little did I know that it's actually a uh, vegan festival. And I didn't really even know that or really knew much about veganism at all. So uh, again, long story even shorter is that uh, it was a great day, but I didn't think much about it until a month later when they were trying to start planning for the next year. And at that event was Sean Monson, uh, who is the producer, director, of Earthlings, and he told us all that he's working on this project with his film, and we thought, you know, he, he invited us down on a certain day at Columbia Studios in LA. Then I went to this thing, and it was uh, quite a few people there, I was surprised, and uh, it was a free screening, and uh, I saw the film, and I was like, what? I don't, for, for those of you who know Earthlings, the film, you understand, but mm -hmm. for me, it was like, I couldn't believe that I was actually paying for that. All that torture, all that abuse of animals and exploitation. And literally in the theater, I said to myself, I, I can't do this anymore. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm going vegetarian right now. Mm -hmm. And in three months, I'm going to go vegan. I don't know why I said that, but I did. Mm -hmm. And the next morning, I'm out there doing my, making my breakfast and toast and this and that. I'm scrambling some eggs in a little bowl. And I'm just all happy. And I'm like, Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. I went so to the So you're already starting to connect with, yeah. Oh, I went to the, I went to the toilet and flushed it and became vegan right there. It was, I mean, wow. I should have wound up really that's being, That's a very fast transition. Mm -hmm. And that's the part that's strange for me that I want to help people realize that, you know, you know, because some people, you can tell them a million times and they'll still continue their, their animal eating mm -hmm. uh, and that whole process. And I'm, it's weird to me because I'm like one of the few people that just got it like right away. It's yeah, like, I can't do this. Yeah, I can't do this. It doesn't. So, have, but yeah. again, yes, it doesn't. It doesn't have to happen overnight. But uh, there's definitely it, vegans are not missing out on anything. So many people say to me, "You don't know what you're missing out on." <laughs> it's like, no, you don't know what you're missing out on. Because uh, in yeah. our next slide, Carlos, that you've prepared. We're going to show people this is what you can eat on a plant-based diet. Yeah, um, I was trying to put all this stuff together quick, but I just the, the picture on the left is a pizza from here in Thailand uh, that literally the crust is the crust is not even made of flour. It's made of cauliflower and some mm -hmm. other stuff in there. It was amazing. And the one on the right is uh, uh, from uh, flatbread in, on Maui that. They, they make the most amazing pizzas ever. Oh, it looks and incredible, have a vegan... yeah. Yeah, and uh, so... So there you, know. you go. You don't have to give up pizzas or cheese on a vegan diet. <laughs> We've got you covered. 
<laughs> Nothing. And, and, and there's not any suffering to, to be involved with. Absolutely. It, it, you can enjoy it all the more, in my opinion, you know. No, but it's that, yeah. beautiful. And it feels good to not be part of that system. Absolutely. That I'm, you know, the, the system of what we do to animals and repression and slavery and what, how women have been abused and how gay people are abused. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know, uh, the thing I'm going to say is nothing, you know, my, my big message on my platform for my speaking at different events is that none of us chose to eat meat. We were there, little babies and mommy, and it was just getting stuffed in our face. And we related love and our mom and all of this. So I can see why it's hard for people to leave that or to even say, no, what do you mean that's wrong? It's, 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 you know, and that's why it's so hard to break out of that. Mm -hmm. That is embedded so deeply, you know, in our DNA, you know, basically that that's a hard one to crack. So that's why I yeah. wanted to show the pizza photos. That's why yes. I'm out there to try to reach the non-vegans to show them that, you know, I mean, that my format for the magazine to introduce them with general yoga massage and things like that in the first part, and then hit them with the, uh, with the facts about animal agriculture, and then take a real final jab and show them what ha has happened to the animals. And well, I've had great people writing for us, Will Tuttle included, and no one's ever paid for it. I've never paid for an article. People are happy to help us. Mm -hmm. you know? Yes, there's, so, a, there's a huge support system in, the, in what we're doing. Carlos, I, I'm, I'm going to talk about you because uh, just looking at you now, we've never met in person, but it's very clear that you're a very healthy, um, wonderfully looking gentleman. And Peter <laughs> has recognized you and given you the award in 2019, just last year, for sexiest vegan of 2019 in the world sexiest vegan over 50 over 50 yes well you don't yeah. look over 50. Uh, most of I us most of us day, look younger than we actually are i'm gonna have to say that but that is so huge and i had no idea so congratulations on that and the reason why i think it's so fantastic is because it just shows how healthy and how thriving and striving and active and you know that you are on a plant-based diet yeah there, there's no there's no need for any of that you know you know the game changers showed us you know that obviously you don't need that for strength and but just to give you mm -hmm. to even figure out a little bit more i am uh, 62 years old really okay i didn't want to ask i was hoping that you <laughs> you would let us know from your end but that's incredible look i, I mean whatever you're it. doing it, it. yeah no absolutely so i i'm i'm shocked but uh, but yeah. also not surprised because like i said most vegans who have been on the plant-based diet for you know a few years at least do tend to look quite young and carlos you prepared a photo from one of the the shoots that you did with peter um for the magazine that is that was taken last year right uh that was taken no that was september of the year before okay so okay because that, that was 2018 and i got the prize for 2019. okay yeah. awesome so that was yeah tell us about and, the, uh, the instrument what, what's the name um, of that instrument? that's a, a doombeck it's a darbuka which is a a middle eastern instrument and that one was actually a, a, a custom made one by my drum master and uh, teacher and he made those in egypt and I, when i played one the first hit of the drum i said i have to have one mm. and it's a beautiful drum it's made of uh, it's metal and uh it's here with me now actually and okay. it uh it's got uh, uh mother of pearl inlay so it's a very intricate beautiful looking instrument and it sounds amazing and mm. and i got here at, uh, in Copangan and literally I've had gigs almost every night with somebody. Oh, really? That's he great. He seen me somewhere and he said, I want you at my gig on this day. Uh, two day, three days ago, I was at the beach and I saw a couple uh -huh. playing uh, guitar and singing and they said, can I drum with you? And within two minutes they said, hey, uh, why don't you uh, play a gig with us tomorrow night? I was like, uh, I don't know your music. doesn't matter. I've seen you play with five <laughs> people. I'm sure you'll do fine. Uh -huh. So it was totally in improvised. And uh, if someone goes to my Facebook page, some of that stuff is posted. Uh, and it's Carlos Garcia on Facebook, and okay. you might be able to find it if you've got any uh, uh, yes. common, you know, mutual friends. Yes, definitely. Uh, but That's music a is a big Facebook. thing for me. 
So look music at the, is a big yes. Thing. Let's have a look at the next slide as you explain how. Oh, I'm sorry, Carlos. This is your magazine for Living Aloha. Um, yeah, that that's you one are, of the issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the issues of Living Aloha that I would like to get up and running again. And uh, but I want to bring it out to Bali, Copenhagen, all of Hawaii. And my main business has distribution in many cities in the U.S. So I want to get it out there more also. Also, but we spent a lot of time with that. Yes, I think that's a, I that's think a something... big project. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I can project. imagine, yeah. But I hope that you do get it back up and running. And going back to the music, I do want to show the next slide um, as we are getting close to the end of the show. Well, this is, uh, you know, ever since I moved to Maui, my life just has gone up and up and up and meeting great people. Business took off uh, on the mainland again. And, uh, and I kept meeting these great people, great musicians. And one of them, well, two of them on this photo, it's Mick Fleetwood from Fleetwood Mac and uh, Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. And, you know, we've done gigs all over Hawaii. And, uh, you know, Mick is an incredible human. None of those guys are vegan, but, you know, I have to draw a line somewhere on who I become an activist because I probably wouldn't get a lot of those music gigs had I really pushed the vegan thing. Of so, course. Well, none of us, uh, you know, dislike non-vegans. We love everyone. There's nothing, it's not like that at all. And we welcome anyone to, um, yeah, to, to try and hang out with us and learn more about the vegan lifestyle and plant-based diet. And you never know who you are actually going to um, influence, whether it's just sitting down I've enjoying done... a pizza, a vegan pizza with them. There are, you know, you know people can be influenced. Um, and yeah, well, once they see how vegan, well you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since I went vegan, everything's just like, it's like, yeah. wow, all these things. And I moved to Maui and uh, met these great musicians. And then I'm out here now and it's like, you know, and I'm feeling healthier than ever. And, you know, Carlos, I'm you, not, you look I, healthy I and amazing. On that note, I do have to apologize because we we do need to wrap things up. Um, you, I've got to get you back on again. <laughs> anytime. We'd anytime. love to because I see there's, you know, so much more to talk about. And I thank you so much, Carlos, for uh, joining in on the program. Look forward to seeing you succeed more and more and to continue spreading the love and your, you know, amazing energy. In a pleasure talking well, to you. Well, two seconds is that I got, I got a, I'm going to India next week because okay. that was the prize, a vegan tour in India from awesome. PETA. Awesome. So maybe we can talk yeah. to you from India. And on that note, Carlos, aloha. Thank you everyone for watching Lillian's Vegan World and see you in two weeks from now. Take care. Aloha.